To write the formula for barium bromide, we'll go to the periodic table. We look up barium, that's Ba. And bromide, that's the bromine, we'll look that up, and that's Br. So we have a metal, barium, and bromine, that's a nonmetal. And when we have a metal and a nonmetal, that's an ionic compound. For ionic compounds, when we write the formula, we need to take into account the ionic charge. So back to the periodic table, barium in group two, that has a two plus ionic charge. Bromine, that has a one minus ionic charge. So these charges need to add up to zero so that we have a net charge of zero for barium bromide. They don't, but to fix it, we can change the subscripts. And we can use a trick called the crisscross method to help us do this. We take the one here, we move it down here, and the two, we move it over here. We don't usually write one by convention, get rid of that, and let's remove the charges. And that's the formula for barium bromide, BABR2. We should check our work though. So remember BA, that was two plus, and the bromine, that was one minus. So I have two bromine atoms, each one's minus one, two times minus one, minus two, and then the one times the two plus, that's the plus two. Plus two and minus two, they add up to zero. So this is the correct formula for barium bromide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.